The other idea I've toyed, toyed around with is I really like Detroit and Cincinnati, but I, you know, and you want to do it for a couple days so people n notice and uh, tune in, but uh, that'll cost hotel money, so I gotta see what is available. Oh, from Glasgow, Andrew, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Euros Place, Mattman says. Also, good burgers too. Roger that. Thank you for the suggestion, Mattman. Appreciate that. Oakland Euros. Got it. Thank you, Mattman. Yeah, we'll have to check it out, John Southwell. Good to see you, our friendly Canadian. ERB, if I didn't say hi, bienvenido a un programa. Yeah, we'll have to try that for an experiment. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Welcome into Milwaukee. I do eat too much Midwest Express, the fantastic cookies, for sure. Yeah, this was uh, their home base, if I remember correctly. Midwest Express, yeah. Yesterday, uh, we were at Midway, and we were talking about even all the airlines that used to be at Midway, like ATA, uh, Northwest. Um... This close to a C-130. It's pretty rad. What's up, Chips? Good to see you again. Zoomed in all the way. Definitely a J-Series model, Dave says. Up, up, and away. Nice. Oh yeah, they have a ton of 717s left. They usually fly them out of Detroit or uh, Atlanta. Hey Marcy, how's it going? So any wins today in Phoenix? This one is headed to Detroit, across Lake Michigan, and to Detroit. Probably around an hour for the uh, time in route. We'll follow this one up, see when it turns as it skyrockets up. Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Delta, and does Qantas Link still have the 717? Oh, nice, Ramona. Good old Wilmington. It's freaking hot. <laughs> well, you are in Arizona then in the summertime. 
I'm just going to say that. On A22300. Five o'clock is going to be a busy hour for us. 512 currently the time locally in Milwaukee, Central Standard Time. I mean, obviously, it used to be a lot busier. We had uh, this, obviously, the uh, home of Midwest Express, if I remember correctly. I was interested to see that they do a 757 here for Delta Airlines. So that's pretty rad. I uh, flew in earlier today. goes to Milwaukee or to uh, MCO Orlando Ooh, got the retro today nice <laughs> There's an A320 from, I believe this is from Dallas. What's up, Hunter? Kurt? Sandra? And I'm not sh uh, shy about sharing my uh, face. I get on videos a lot, and uh, so I don't, I'm not shy. <laughs> Colin. This is a Max. Rick Reed, hey, good evening to you. Great to see you, Rick. Very interesting. I don't know if it's a medical or because uh, O'Hare is VFR conditions, unless uh, the the METAR is not right. So I don't know if it's a, a medical or if it's a planned diversion or I have no idea. All right, here goes the 757.
That's right, Josh. Josh knows I consider the 757 a heavy. Look at it climb. Oops, sorry on the uh, fast zoom there. I just wish I had more props for uh, Barbara. Hey, Mike Cruz, what's up? Your very first hometown airport, not as busy as it was in the 80s and 90s when it was a Northwest mini hub, everything from DC 9s to DC 10. And Mike, we were also talking about uh, also Midwest Express being here. Uh, Hunter and uh, Barbara and Andrew, this goes on and on. Thank you so much for tuning in. A little prop, huh? I will keep my eye out for the prop to give it props. Speaking of that, Mike, we actually saw one of the uh, C-130s take off earlier on the show. So uh, about a half hour in or 45 minutes in, funny enough. Mac Lover, so glad you're streaming at my hometown airport. Tell the AVL crew that they have a nice plane spotting parking lot. Okay. Yeah, Republic Mike ha has a hangar here in Air, Wisconsin, I believe, as well. No, Barbara, we're still here, if, if you're still here. Apologies. CJ4, thank you, Dave. Up in a hurry. Up in a hurry. Usually JetBlue only does like one flight per day to cities uh, in a lot of cases, but they, um, I think I saw they have two. But uh, thank you to Michael Walker, Dave from North Little Rock, Colin Dutton, Barbara Sterling uh, for your contributions and kindness to support the channel financially. Also, Tom Marchant 
Thank you. And uh, Sandy's Aviation. Tony, there you are. A320 about to take off. Happy to see you streaming. Sorry I was late to the show. I was stuck on a meeting. Well, Tony, great to have you. Great to see you. TC Aviation Photography. So far, I have not been kicked out. Unlike Midway last night. Now that's perfect uh, timing right there. Just as that American landed, this uh, A320 blocked out. So, hashtag blessed. So thanks, Tony, for your support and that like. Appreciate you. I hope you get an idea how fast they're going as they fly by, as I follow them, because I sure am. Pip steak sauce, stuff like that. Yeah. Or we can do a barbecue rub. That they do. Cousin Subs, they're all over Milwaukee. They have awesome cheese curds as well. All right, I didn't know that. Thank you, Southpaw. Fifteen, twenty minutes, I want to say. It is, yeah. It is, Tony. Yep, Chaos and Oshkosh. That's a FedEx feeder cargo. There goes the Max off to Chicago. Uh, I don't, I can't, uh, I've got to take my sister to the airport tomorrow, Tony, so I'm just going to do a uh, live stream at Chicago O'Hare, hopefully. Plain Cats love Sun Country. They're a pretty good low-cost carrier. Roger that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the side stick. I, I do Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm the big Airbus guy. Southpaw for sure. Here's our Delta from LaGuardia. Oh, Barbara, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I know we'll get there. We've had a great show tonight. No worries. I really appreciate your support. Turn into a ghost, eh? Uh, no, Vegas does not share with an Air Force base, Tony. Uh, Nellis is actually uh, just uh, on the north side of Vegas.
Oh, dang, they all diverted from Minneapolis? Sandra's still working. Crazy. Well, thanks, everybody, for liking and subscribing. We're almost to 165 likes. I think even Aspen, Colorado is working on building a new terminal. And they need it too because their terminal is very small. I have been there. It is not very big. And I'm pretty sure Salt Lake City is going to need a new terminal. Dang, Dave. Wow, that's expensive. Thank you so much, everybody, for your likes. And if you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Say hi. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for gifting 10 memberships today. Barbara Sterling, the Prop Whisperer. Oh, you have to change airlines. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, favorite modern aircraft will go with Tony. Seven thirty-seven eight hundred. Departing back to Minneapolis. All right, we'll get you picks and we'll make sure to stream from there, Greg. Ooh, almost to 175. Thank you, Barbara. Whoa, 175 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Barbara Sterling, the prop whisperer, very generous, contributing again. I will focus on you. Look at this. Special aircraft. I think, that, yeah, this is one of the cargo ones, uh, Matt, man. The cargo masters of the cargo. I can't remember. Again, thanks everyone for tuning in to Pips Plane Spotting Live. 196, thank you to Barbara for her generosity. Thanks to TC Aviation Photography, Michael Walker, Colin Dutton, Tom Marchant, and many others who have joined or contributed to Dreamweaver. Dave in North Little Rock gifting a membership as well. This fantastic day here in Milwaukee. Used to fly with SkyWest. I remember those days, Mac Lover. A lot of times they used to fly out of uh, Salt Lake City. I remember those days in our old Terminal E.
Southwest Airlines. 737-800. I didn't know there was a San Angelo to Midland flight. You see aviation photography. Many more. My brain is spent. I honestly think Wednesday will probably be 